Dear students, in this session, we are going to discuss about grating. What do you mean by grating? Grating is an important element in the case of wavelength division multiplexing system. And grating is a periodic structure of perturbations in a material. And this variations in the material has the property of reflecting or transmitting the light in a certain direction. And that will be depending upon the wavelength. Based on that, the grating can be categorized into two. That is transmission grating and reflecting grating. And figure here shows the transmission, sorry, reflecting, reflection grating. You can see here that uh, the structure has got a uh, perturbations uh, like this. Uh, and here the the light coming to this structure will be hit one of these perturbations as a result it will be refracted and you can see here that in the incident light there are two wavelength components lambda 1 and lambda 2 when it is hitting this region due to the change in the refractive index of this region the light will be refracted into two waves so that is individual components so that at the imaging plane you will be getting individual wavelength components lambda 1 and lambda 2 this is the basic thing that is occurring in the case of grating and here you can see that the various parameter in the reflection grating are here this is the angle of incidence that is theta i theta d is the angle of refraction or diffraction angle and here you can see that the periodic perturbations is like this and the period is shown as grating period here. And here theta i is the incident angle and theta d is the diffracted angle. And the period of grating is shown here. You can see here period of grating. And the period of grating actually shows the periodicity of the structural variation in the material. See here the periodicity of structural variation means that here the refractive index will be varying. Okay. So that is represented by grating. And in the case of a transmission grating, there will be a series of equally spaced slits. And the spacing between the adjacent slits is called a pitch of grating. The constructive interference at the wavelength lambda occurs in the imaging plane when the rays diffracted at an angle theta d satisfying the grating equation gamma into sin theta i minus sin theta d equal to m lambda. This is the grating equation. The constructive interference where lambda is the wavelength at which the constructive interference occurs so that the waveform will be the incident wave will be diffracted and it will be obtained as a different individual wavelength at the imaging plane and here m is the order of the grating so let us see what is fiber brag grating that is our syllabus topic fiber brag grating is also a part or a component in the case of wavelength division multiplexing technique and here also the in the case of brag grating that is constructed within the optical fiber and this Bragg grating is used to separate individual wavelength in a closely spaced spectrum of DWDM. DWDM means dense wavelength division multiplexing. In this case, Bragg grating is used to separate different wavelength in the DWDM. And fiber Bragg grating is a narrow band reflection filter. That means it acts as a narrow band reflection filter that is fabricated through a photo imprinting process. And this photo imprinting process is based on the observation that germanium doped silica fibers exhibits high photosensitivity to ultraviolet light. That means once an ultraviolet light is passed through a germanium doped silica core, there observes different regions of refractive index regions inside the core. So that technique is used in the case of fiber Bragg grating process. That means this means that one can induce a change in the 
refractive index of the core by exposing it to the ultraviolet radiations of strength 244 nanometer so the fiber bragg grating technique or it is based on photo imprinting process and uh, if the fiber core is made up of germanium doped silica fiber and once we are irradiating that core with ultraviolet light we can observe uh, periodic variations of refractive index in the core and uh, for that periodic periodic perturbations in the refractive index of the um, core to occur we have to irradiate the core of the germanium doped silica fiber uh, with ultraviolet radiations uh, corresponding to the wavelength 244 nanometer and here let us see the fabrication of the grating structure inside the fiber core and here the fiber core is made up of germanium doped silica that is the first thing and when this fiber is irradiated by two ultraviolet beams which is applied transversely it produces an interference pattern in the core you can see here the diagram that means uh, the uh, the ultraviolet or uv rays having wavelength 244 nanometer is applied transversely in the germanium doped silica core this is the fiber structure and the core is indicated here so because of that irradiation here regions of high intensity causes an increase in the local refractive index of the photosensitive core whereas it remains unaffected in the zero intensity region see once this is irradiated by this ultraviolet rays constructive or destructive interference where the constructive interference takes place refractive index will be higher and where the destructive interference takes place refractive index will be lower you can see it has a sinusoidal variation of the refractive index score that is the interference pattern and you can also see that there at the lower side there indicated bubbles like structures right and that indica indicates a higher refractive index portions okay so here you can see that there is a set term n effective n effective means that it is the sum of the refractive index refractive index of the core regions that means here the refractive index will be higher and this period is also shown here you can see here and in between this um, round shaped interference patterns there will be refractive index of the core that is will be lower than that of the refractive index which within this um, circles so uh, the, the, by this process a permanent reflective bragg ref, reflective bragg grating is written into the core so when a multi wavelength signal encounters this grating those wavelength that are phase matched to the bragg reflection conditions will not be transmitted see bragg reflection condition is this one this is the bragg reflection condition so when we are irradiating this type of fiber that means whenever a fiber bragg grating is written on the core of the fiber once a once we are transmitting a signal you can see here we are transmitting a signal uh, for a fiber bragg grating structure here the grating structure is formed here you can see here that this this shows the um, higher refractive index portions by the irradiation of the ultraviolet radiation um, and you can see that here n2 is the fiber core and n3 is the higher refractive index portions and the um, and the interval between these grating regions is represented by gamma um, and here is the core the s is the cladding and the n1 is the refractive index of the cladding and n0 is the refractive index of the air and you can see that here a light beam is given to this core and here the core grating area is shown by the straight vertical lines this is the interval of grating and here the original light goes like this and here due to this grating there will be some reflection occurs in the light wave that is shown here let us see here when we are going to the principle of operation of the fiber bragg grating the main main principle is fresnel reflection is the principle of operation of the fiber bragg grating that means here light traveling between the media of different refractive indices may both reflect and refract at the interface that means two process will takes place when there will be different areas of refractive indices that means reflection and also refraction takes place in the grating area also there will be different refractive areas 
In the grating area, periodic changes in the refractive index causes scattering of the light. You can see here that if here, if the refractive index is higher, then at the other portion, refractive index will be lower. So, then the refractive index is higher, then will be lower. That means there is a periodic changes in the refractive index at the grating area. So, in the grating area, periodic changes in the refractive index causes scattering of the light. Also, it selectively reflects a narrow range of wavelength. And each time light hits a region of higher refractive index, a bit of light will be scattered backwards. If the wavelength of the scattered light matches with the spacing of the high index zone in the fiber, then the waves scattered from the high index zone interfere constructively and that will produce a strong reflection. And the wavelength selected is twice the distance between the lines written into the fiber grating because the light wave has to go through the region between them twice. Once into the fiber grating and once when reflected back. So that is shown here. You can see here that when light is traveling like this way in the fiber core. Due to the grating area, some will be reflected back. So the same light when traveling in the forward direction, it will be reflected from the this surface. You can see here. That means light will be traveling forward direction and in, in, also it is in the reflected direction. So we, we will select the wavelength will be twice the distance between the lines written in the fiber because the light waves has to go through the same region between um, the lines twice because due to the reflection. And here the main equation here is that in the, in the case of fiber Bragg grating the reflected wavelength is called Bragg wavelength and that is defined by the relation that is lambda b Bragg wavelength will be equal to 2 n effective into gamma and here n effective is equal to n2 plus n3 by 2 here what is n2 is n2 is the high refractive index grating refractive index n3 is the germanium doped silica core refractive index so due to grating the refractive index is increased here that increased refractive index is n3 and the n2 is the original germanium doped silica core refractive index so effective refractive index will be n2 plus n3 by 2 and the wavelength of the Bragg will be equal to 2 n effective by n effective into gamma that's all about this fiber Bragg rating thank you